So welcome to the Machines and Magic book. <clears throat> As you can see, I just took it out of the box. The crate space does a nice job. They put in a nice solid box. Um, there's a little invoice inside. So enough about the box. Back to the book. I put out a call on the internet for all the great sci-fi fantasy artists I could find. The ones that responded, I put all their work that I, the judges liked in the book. So tried to get a representation of every artist on the cover. The five larger ones at the back were the ones the judges ultimately found were their favorites. Um, as you can see, it's a nice shiny glossy cover. The paper inside is color shows up pretty good. Um, so the header page, me the editor. I have a few pieces in the book, but uh, it's mostly international artists. Me being the editor, I get to be the first page. So, <laughs> um, so me in my steampunk costume, a few of my Photoshop works. So the book was judged by a panel of international uh, fantasy artists. Um, so this would be their work. Uh, they were told to select their five favorites and their top one and the best one that they thought was there was printed both larger at the front and larger on the back. So, another fine winner here. Um, special effects in the background are because the, it's almost Halloween and there's uh, wonderful things going on. So again, this is a 3D chosen by uh, this judge who does dinosaurs. He's really great at American judge here picked an American winner, spectacular. She's a very good choice there for her. So, uh, there's leaves rattling around and there's like someone doing something in the yard back there. It's a lovely fall day. You can see the, the colors of the leaves are great. <laughs> the, uh, the book is uh, 156 pages, I think. I think there are 91 artists. Um, most of them have uh, several works in here. So the uh, work was arranged. I started off with uh, fantasy items and worked through steampunk and uh, science fiction at the end. Um, yeah, just, just great work. So uh, the ones that were chosen by the judges, the top five, have these little ribbons on them so you can tell which ones were the judges' favorites. So as you can see, there's all, all genres, everything from pencil drawings, paintings, digital, anything you can think of. Well, the book's really nice. The colors came out pretty good. I spent a long time trying to make the, the colors come out right. The uh, individual things have the uh, person's name and their medium and where they're from. And the index at the back has their websites and contact information. So you can go visit their websites, buy their prints, that type of thing. Uh, all of this work on, in the book is usually much larger, so they have uh, much larger prints they can sell you. That's their job. Uh, every one is uh, probably worth seeing you know, on screen live. This one in particular is a, a man from Australia. He uh, does photoshops of uh, some undersea things, this large tree he made. This picture on the left is just this little tiny piece here so definitely worth visiting his website to see that in full. Uh, so lots of dragons moving on to uh, some more of a almost a horror kind of theme here. Got some pirates and guns. And, uh, I love this couple together they're not by the same artist but I thought the look on her face and, and his face just worked well together. We got some monsters. And, from all over the world. My, my light here is fading a little on me, but oh, this dragon's great. Okay. So we got some, you know, requisite battle bikinis and uh, queens and their, their beasts. This, this page I themed as an underwater uh, extravaganza. Some, some nice uh, traditional painting here. Oh, just great. So you can tell the uh, the work is all different. It's 
all incredible. I, I was shocked. Uh, I, I just didn't know what to cut when I had all these pictures. It was, it was so hard. It was like, you know, people send me, you know, seven to ten paintings sometimes, and you know, I needed all of them because I didn't. How did you choose from like, you know, at one point I had to, I had to cut one picture from this book. Can you, t can you tell me which, which one you would have moved to fit something that's even better in? Yeah, <laughs> that's uh, a def definitely a, a tough choice. So we got some concept art here, you know, some sort of more conceptual things, some fairies, you know, monsters, it's uh, oh, magic. I, I tried to make the, the colors and the sort of themes on each page work. So we got some you know, fire-based things and monsters. I love the orange on this page. So just some more fire is great. So this one was a little darker, so we put all the sort of darker sort of blue-browns colors. Nice. You know, some more frivolous uh, uh, sort of uh, cartoony stuff, some great 3D horror. Uh, so, oh, lovely Photoshop here, I just love this work. This, uh, this was another one by one of the judges, and some more 3D Stonehenge. So you can see that uh, there is uh, all kinds of things. So there's two on this page are mine, uh, this uh, one here, and the ladies casting. So. Moving on some aliens and some pretty girls and almost gypsies. So we're moving on to some sort of steampunk themes here. We've got fairies and steampunk and traditional paintings. Oh, it's just more almost anime style stuff. Oh I just I just love the dog here, he's great. So I thought it was a nice transition. So steampunk leads into the machinery. Uh, this was a late entry who I just had to give a prize to. I, I want to see an entire movie based on this guy's work. Uh, I just can't imagine the skill level required to, to come up with this consistently and make it all look like it's from one world. So in the pages where the I didn't have full pictures, I added some little uh, sketches so you can see how people make some monsters. Again, lovely, one full, full spread by one guy. And again, this is <laughs> another spread by one of the winners he's just these biomechanical things he he's an artist from japan his website's definitely worth a visit so we're getting into more space type things and spaceships uh, set design uh, a lot of these people work for video game companies some of them are just young artists uh, and this girl i think is only 16 or 17 excellent start so spaceships <laughs> this life after the, the cuteness. And so some of them were compilations from two artists. They one of them drew, drew it and one of them uh, painted it. So they're all credited properly. And uh, some more set design things, concept art. Uh, this was another work by one of the judges. He does a lot of genres, but retro space things are one of his specialties. He, he likes that. Dinosaurs and spacemen. So this was a really retro page. I kind of liked how the colors went together in the sort of 1950s version of the future. Some more aliens and discovery. The reds and the blues worked well, I thought. So some of the pages, they uh, because I have a didn't want to clutter up the uh, the pictures themselves. It'll say uh, the current page or the overleaf page or the previous spread. So when you look up in the index, it'll just be there. So this was example of. There's no text on this page at all. It's just on previously on the previous page it's listed. Again, one of my my works. So uh, it's just kind of cool, more alien feeling spaceships. So the artists were from all over. Like I said, uh, a lot of Europe, a lot of the United States, uh, Asians, Australia, someone from Chile, Mexico. So, very few people speak English in this book. It's, it's quite amazing how you can communicate a, a theme with never spoken a word of the, uh, the language. Uh, it's a lovely 3D work here. It's a whole series that this guy did. He's, he's great. So, as you can see, it's just, it's just page after page. Here we are on page 134, and it's not even done yet. I, you know, some lovely uh, work here. <laughs> Sort of post-apocalyptic chameleon. It's just amazing what these people come up with. This was from a contest for demons that 
did well. Uh, some lovely Photoshop work, just the detail. And some of these pictures, you just zoom in and it just never ends. It's definitely worth a look visiting their websites to see some of them. You know, I can only show you, you know, 10 or 11 inches here, but some of them just, you know, three, four, five thousand pixels deep on the screen. I like her little screen there, she says Mook them. <laughs> so, so we've got some lovely biomechanical horror things. You know, so things falling apart in battle, and some planets, and faces in planets, and... Oh, just the, it just never ends, it seems. The space shots and combat. And another one of mine. Uh, so, some monsters and some gentleness in the monsters. It's lovely winner there by Angel Alonzo. So, I have a couple of traditional paintings which I just love. The little horns almost recalling where the wild things are. Um, my Draco osteology picture. Um, I did one page of, of black and white items. The, I, I love pencil sketches, so I definitely needed to include them. It's a nice concept art. I'd love to develop some of these characters on my own. Lovely. Uh, I think this is actually a, a painting, but it's uh, black and white. It's beautiful. He does. He was one of the winners too. This picture in particular was a lovely Photoshop. Even though it looks like a painting. Uh, the index is done by by letter by their first name, so you can see a lot of them have more than one entry. And uh, I picked a fantasy book with a prerequisite girl at the end pointing the way. Uh, so uh, we uh, had a robot building construction. I thought it was great for the next page. I am doing several other books. Uh, CraigMusselman.com should have some near future uh, contests. I want to do a steampunk one, realism, pencil drawing. So if you're like this, you uh, might want to check out the other ones and maybe enter, drop me a line. Uh, this is still the proof, but it is available on Amazon and uh, through the publisher and by, through me directly at uh, varying prices because they uh, charge different prices. It is uh, print on demand. Uh, so the ISBN is uh, pretty easy to find. Uh, if you look up on Amazon, or uh, if you type in machines and magic, art and fan fantasy and sci-fi, you'll get it. There are a couple other uh, things on cooking that have magic and machines in them, but uh, definitely worth a look. If you go to the machinesandmagic.com site, you can find a direct link to the Amazon site and the uh, publisher site, so it's just uh, uh, great work. So come visit us, and there's public gallery space if you want to be in the next one. You can publish on the Machine Your Magic gallery. There's some view views there you can see, too. Thanks for watching. Bye.